All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to Christmas. Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everyone out there, and happy holidays. It is the Earth Master out here. 12.42 in the p.m. Christmas Day 2024. Latest activity shows a, uh, looks like a 2.1 across the area of Nevada. Uh, latest quake there in the green flag. So let's go ahead and check out uh, the activity stirring up out here. Northern California, handful of earthquakes this morning so far in the 2 range. Looks like we've got about six of them so far uh, today in this area. Well, five around this region, one further down south here across the Willits area. Uh, nothing big going on there for now. Cascadia activity, pretty quiet. Uh, not anything sufficient going on of noteworthy value. Still seeing some movement out in the Nevada area. This is where that 5.7 struck here a couple weeks back. Some newer activity down here across the Long Valley Supervolcano. Now, this is just outside the Caldera region, which sits right uh, kind of in an oval shape here in this region. That's the, uh, a super volcano. Yes, California does have a super volcano and a lot more volcanic activity than uh, people realize. But uh, this little swarm occurring near Tom's place, relatively shallow earthquake activity of uh, looks like a bunch of ones and some twos in there as well. Nothing major going on. Periodic swarms do occur out there. As we note in the last 30 days, uh, looks like there's been some in that same area, a little bit to the northwest as well, and a little bit down around the uh, volcanic table in area north of Bishop. So um, nothing unusual, just some periodic swarming occurring out there. Very shallow activity, so it's got to do with uh, uh, stress out here in terms of uh, the plate stress, in terms of earthquake activity potential. Uh, some movement around the Bay Area today. Really nothing of any uh, significant value. It's still a little early. I don't want to jinx it, but it, you know, it's, it seems like these earthquake, big earthquakes occur on important dates. So we got to get through today uh, at least. Either way, anything could happen at any given time, right? Some ones and twos in the Ridgemark area, it looks like, along the uh, creeping section of the San Andreas Fault there. Further down south in Southern California, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on at all down here. And that includes microquake activity. Nothing above 2.5, 14 earthquakes of earthquakes there in the uh, very small microquake category there, below the one magnitude level. So a little quiet down there for now. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, the big super volcano up there in uh, northwestern Wyoming, pretty quiet. Uh, let's check out the seismograph stations, though for verification purposes we just got to make sure because occasionally there's earthquakes like this and they don't show up so this is a prime example here a little spitter spatter event on the grant village station there looks like uh, a handful of earthquakes in a, in a short amount of time let me see that's grant village there's little west thumb looks like maybe three earthquakes well defined on that station also showing up here around Lake Butte so um, nothing big these magnitudes here look to be probably in the upper one range maybe lower two range um, so yeah that's showing up there but as you can see here these earthquakes from from yesterday that has nothing to do with the activity there in the last few hours nothing showing up on the map and most of the time during the weekend or holiday events uh, the USGS does not put out anything uh, for these smaller quakes. They'll get to it, you know, whenever they're in the office next. I don't know if they have an extended weekend or not. Obviously, today they will have off. Uh, so anything above 2.5 uh, should show up on the preliminary earthquake map here, but those are not above 2.5. But a little bit of movement. That's why I always like to check these maps here, make sure that... Uh, you know, we don't have any big-time earthquake swarm with hundreds of earthquakes underneath the 2.5 magnitude, you know. That's still a lot of earthquake activity if that were to occur. And then, of course, nothing would show up here on the USGS map unless we look at the seismos. Uh, Texas oil field still rocking and rolling out there in earthquake country. Uh, one earthquake there in the New Madrid seismic zone. That earthquake from yesterday just about ready to drop off the 24-hour map there. Uh, so really nothing new to report across the eastern portion of the country. As far as any larger scale activity since last night's update, well, um, a 4.8 south of the Kermadec Islands. 
southern end, it looks like, of the, the uh, Kermadec Trench. Uh, aside from that, the deeper movement quake up here from uh, last night. Pretty deep earthquake there, almost 300 miles into the Tonga Trench. Really nothing major going on there since last night's update. A little bit of uptick here across the Puerto Rico Trench. The latest uh, couple twos, including a 4.1 up here. 53 miles deep. This area has been underneath the strain, uh, strain event here for a little bit. Cuba, that 5.9 uh, a couple days back here. Just a sign of some uh, strain building up here against that little Caribbean plate. Always getting squeezed and pushed around there by the uh, North American and the South American plate here. Very dynamic setup with subduction zones around the region and uh, it's always always underneath uh, some type of strain out here. So we're continuing to watch that. that. This area does have potential for some large scale movement, but for now just some uh, some small earthquake activity there. Uh, let's take a look at the Earthquake 3D Globe, see if anything else is going on around the globe here. Um, Typical zone out here, the crunch zone. Seen some twos and threes and fours. Nothing major. New Zealand pretty quiet aside from the movement up north along the Kermadec Trench. And aside from that, folks, I'd say it's a, a beautiful day here on the planet. Not a whole lot of uh, interruptions in travel out here in terms of, you know, the get-togethers and the Christmas holiday travels here. Out where I'm at, a little blue dot. Got some clouds out here. Moisture uh, limited here to the north and to the Pacific Northwest around Seattle, Portland area, getting in on some uh, some rainfall as usual. Uh, aside from that, just very spotty conditions out here. A little bit of st storm still down around the Louisiana area, off into the Gulf of Mexico. Pretty noisy out here all night across that area uh, due to those uh, thunderstorms. I wouldn't mind a thunderstorm event overnight. I had a, a raccoon on my house last night. About 2 o'clock in the morning, I was uh, woken up suddenly by a kind of like a loud bang on the awning here outside the bedroom window. And uh, I checked my cameras, nothing on it. And uh, I thought maybe someone was stopping by or I don't know, 2 o'clock in the morning. It's a little odd. Um, somehow, there was a raccoon on top of the house there, jumped onto the awning and then jumped onto one of our cars because I found the prints early this morning with some leaves and stuff that had fallen off the awning onto our vehicles so yeah i thought it was maybe santa claus or who knows what was on my roof there about two in the morning but it looks to be a uh, a raccoon uh, due to some of the claws there and the muddy marks he left on the uh the vehicles thunderstorm activity a little bit scattered out there is noted on this map really nothing major going on here today for severe weather tomorrow if folks are traveling uh, maybe, you know, sticking around today, leaving tomorrow. Severe weather risk out there in a broad area across Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Got a 5% and 2% chance here of tornado activity. I have a feeling this is going to be uh, common here in the weeks ahead. We're getting a lot of colder air dipping down from Canada here in the first week of January, and that's going to be mixing with the uh, the warmer environment down here, colliding, clash, uh clashing and producing uh, severe thunderstorm potential as we head into January. But this is for tomorrow, uh, the day on um, Thursday. Tornado, wind, and of course Texas loves to do it. Loves to put out some giant hail out there in eastern Texas. Looks like Jasper area uh, westward through Houston, uh, Dallas, Texas in that area as well. So just a heads up if you're uh, around that area. As far as space weather activity goes, see what we got here for the sun. Looks like things have dropped down a little bit in terms of the detailed forecast here on the solarham.com site. A little bit less. KP index of a range of four. So last night when we were checking this, it looked a little bit more promising in terms of the aurora potential. But uh, that has since changed here and been updated with only a slight chance here across Alaska, Canada area. Uh, potential view line still around the northern tier states, but not quite as uh, you know as promising as what it showed last night. So we'll, we'll keep our eyes open if you're out there in the Alaska, Canada area. I mean, those guys are always used to it, right? Uh, tomorrow night, not so much. As uh, far as any other major space weather activity goes, a number of sunspots currently facing the Earth here. Uh, 3936 was responsible for one of the more 
uh, noteworthy CMEs here, uh, Earth directed, but it looks like it mainly hit to the south of the Earth Sun plane. Uh, so that kind of missed us there, but pretty massive sunspot area. You know, we have a number of sunspots here that are currently facing the Earth. This is looking a little bit more like solar maximum with the uh, solar flux index, I'm sure, uh, jumping up there a little bit in terms of the energy that, uh, you know, being produced out here on the sun. And uh, we'll continue to watch that because there is, uh, you know, some potential for some larger flare activity. Right now, a 10% chance for uh, X flare. C flare at 99% chance. And the uh, M flare at 75% chance there. And uh, we'll just kind of keep an eye on things here. The UV filter image, you know, no major flaring right now. Looks like a little bit of C flare activity from this region, but uh, we'll watch it and report back on anything that uh, changes out there. As far as any uh, close approach asteroids go on this Christmas day, nothing of any noteworthy value, I would say, over the next couple days. Pretty safe distance here for all these, um, yeah, decent size asteroids. A 43 foot bus size asteroid there, over 618,000 miles there. All right, so let's see. I think that's about it here, folks. Let's check the live seismograph stations there. Pretty quiet across the board. I did see a couple smaller quakes there coming into the uh, Petrolia station here this morning, uh, aside from these ones that they did mention here on the map. Uh, those twos there's a couple other smaller quakes there underneath the two magnitude range um yeah all right hope everyone has a good christmas merry christmas here from me and missy mimi's and the family we already did our get together and uh, uh open uh, open presents this morning hope everyone enjoys their time with their family and uh you know, a lot of people out there working on this holiday. A lot of people want to. A lot of people don't want to. But uh, we appreciate all those uh, first responders and law enforcement and uh, anyone else out there that's uh, working out there today. I know uh, some retail, or not retail, but grocery stores may be open. You know, a lot, of, a lot of last minute ideas there for dinner. They like to stay open for a few hours on Christmas Day. I don't blame them. Uh, it's kind of handy if you do need something there from the store. But aside from that, it uh, feels kind of like a Sunday out here. Everything somewhat shut down, including Walmart. They're shut down there, letting the employees spend some time with their families, which is uh, very beneficial there. All right. Have a good one, folks. Um, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening, unless something major happens. Still pretty early out here on the West Coast. As far as earthquake activity goes, well, it's uh, just kind of a, a neutral day out here right now. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later. Stay safe.